Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today we'll be looking into how to use Normalize Transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Normalize Transformation is an active transformation which tries to convert one input data row to multiple output data row. The most important factors of a normalized transformation is to get the normalized fields from the source. Usually in few of the data samples you would have seen that few of the fields are occurring multiple times holding different values. A simple example for this is the sales which has happened over quarter over quarter in a year. There are two more concepts called as generated key and generated column ID. Generated key is a key generated by the normalizer transformation which is unique across all the output rows which have been pumped out of the normalizer transformation. Generated column ID is unique for a given column which has been identified as a normalized field in the source. So it gets repeated for every set of output data row which comes out for a given one single input data row. Let's go ahead and look at a demo on how to use a normalizer transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Go to the Informatica portal URL and type in your credential and log into it. Navigate to Design Mapping and click on New Mapping button to create a new mapping. Type in appropriate name and click OK. You need to choose a source. In this case, we will be using a flat file as source. I'll be browsing in some sales data for a given set of products which would represent what are the total number of sales which has happened to this product for each quarter in a year. Let me go ahead and select the source connection then select the object verify the fields now go ahead and drag and drop the normalizer transformation In this case, you need to identify the normalized field from the source and also generate any other incoming field which is going to be repeated for a given input data row. Let's try to choose product as a common field to identify a given product. The number of occurrence for a product for a given output data row is going to be only once. Let's create a new field called as quarter sales string and click OK. The number of occurrence is going to be 4. As soon as you select the number of occurrence, you will see GCID and GK are being created. Now drag and drop a target transformation, map the output of the normalizer transformation to the target, configure the target transformation with a connection and an object. Let's go ahead do a validation of this particular mapping. You need to map the fields 
in the normalizer transformation. Let's map the source data fields to the normalizer transformation fields. Let's validate the mapping. The following fields which you see as mapped is how the data is going to flow into the normalizer transformation and the fields that you see in the normalized fields is how the data is going to flow out of the normalized transformation in which GCID is a unique column ID which gets generated and GK is the generated key which gets generated in the normalizer transformation. Let's go ahead and run this mapping. Choose a runtime environment to run it. The mapping has run successfully. Let's take a look at the target data and how it has been formed. This is the source data which we tried to pump into the mapping and which flows into the normalized transformation and this is the target data. As you could see, this is the quarter sales which is a normalized field from the source which encompasses Q1 2016, Q2 2016, Q3 and Q4 and puts it together in quarter sales. This covers the basic functionality of normalizer transformation and how to use it in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Thanks for watching this video. It would be good to have feedback from you. You can post your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support. Thank you.